As the days tick down to the closing ceremony here in Tokyo, the COVID cases continue to tick up. Infections in the city rose above 5,000 per day for the first time since the pandemic began. That's an increase of over 160 percent compared to last week. Such relatively high numbers have got local health officials worried and hospitals on high alert. Japan's Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has said the rules will become stricter to fight the surge. There were over 5,000 COVID cases in Tokyo. While increasing vigilance, it is necessary to be thorough and take measures first. At the same time, we are currently securing such a medical system so that those who need it can receive the medical care they need. In the target areas under priority measures, serving alcohol in restaurants will be suspended and we will enforce working from home as well as self-restraint from unnecessary trips out. Such words will offer little reassurance though to residents here in Tokyo. Another vocal protest broke out near the Olympic Stadium with police trying to control the situation. A local population growing increasingly frustrated with the games that for them has brought little upside. I always thought the Olympics was a waste of tax money. Especially this time, we invited the games with a pack of lies. Having things under control is a lie. Recovery Olympics is a lie. A mild climate is a lie. A small budget is a lie. Everything is a lie. Additionally, we have the COVID cases going so high, I cannot believe and accept the fact that we are hosting the games now. Aside from the COVID situation, another story continues to overshadow these games. Belarusian sprinter Kristina Simonaskaya has safely arrived in the Polish capital of Warsaw, where she was granted a humanitarian visa after her home country attempted to force her to return to Belarus to face punishment for criticizing officials on social media. Now, following an IOC investigation, two of those officials have been removed from the athlete's village and had their accreditation cancelled. Simonaskaya herself is full of praise for how the authorities have handled a delicate situation. I'm happy to be here, happy to be in safety, and first of all, I wanted to say uh, thanks to the uh, Japanese government, to the police uh, in a Japanese airport, uh, mid of Poland and Prime Minister of Poland, and a diplomat of Poland who accompanied me from uh, from Tokyo to Warsaw to the Fort of Sports Solidarity and um, anti-crisis management team uh, and of uh, all people who, who support me uh, but it, it was uh, the whole world and these people make me much stronger. Simonaskaya and the other athletes that have already left Japan might just have got out at the right time. Those clouds are the first sign of a tropical storm that threatens to wreak havoc on the final few days of the Olympics. But for now, while the sun shines, the games must go on. Adam Hunt reporting for Arise News in Tokyo.